I, we, we're just so proud to be really amongst all of you and to see what an amazing, amazing movement this has become, you know. And um, I'm particularly relieved uh, that I can address you today. <laughs> Well, not as a terrorist, at least, you know. Um, I felt that I might be besmirching the uh, Bursay movement if um, it could have been said that you were being addressed by um, a wanted terrorist on the Interpol list. But yesterday, they confirmed that they've refused Najib Brazak's. <laughs> And I, <laughs> yes, and I hope that all the other people who have been threatened and intimidated uh, by the same sorts of strong arm measures in Malaysia will take heart and uh, refuse to be intimidated by that kind of unlawful um, attack on people's rights and, and privileges. Um, I mean, I think you all know what, what, what I've been up to and what other journalists from Malaysia have been working with me on, which is the exposure of a huge scandal, um, uh, one that would not have come to light if we had not been able to get round the controlled media in Malaysia. And of course, the way we did this was... <laughs> that's, uh, that's Najib getting his own back. <laughs> um, the way we did this was through the internet, because you can't broadcast anything or print anything in Malaysia, as you well know, because people aren't even allowed to wear t-shirts with unpermitted writing on it, um, was, was via the internet. And um, I guess, you know, I just got to work on the biggest story I've ever worked on. I mean, an amazing, outrageous scandal um, that has, uh, we've unpicked over the last few months. Um, and it's not just been a one day story, as you all know, if any of you read through our report, please. Yes. Uh, yes. We've, we've bit by bit uh, unpeeled this scandal and bit by bit, we've pushed Najib back into a corner, unable to answer the questions that we have raised. And now he remains unable to answer questions, and so he just arrests and sacks people instead. And, and closes down websites, and closes down newspapers. And I think all of your presence today, and the hundreds of thousands of people out on the streets in Malaysia have told him a lesson, which is, you, it's unacceptable to try and govern Malaysia in that way. And I really hope that the will of the people um, prevails against this form of government and prevails soon. Thank you, Sarah Wag Report! 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 Thank you, Sarah Wag Report!